Today, we are going to show you how to install a rear-facing car seat. A rear-facing car seat can be an infant seat or convertible car seat. To install one, you'll use either the lower anchors or the car seat belt. Most car seats do not allow you to use both. Lower anchors on convertible car seats have a weight limit. Check your manual for details. If you have a convertible car seat, make sure you use lower anchors or a seat belt in the rear-facing belt path. If you are using lower anchors, connect the anchors to the bars located in the back of the vehicle seat. Check your car's manual for acceptable latch positions. Latch stands for Lower Anchors and Tethers for Children. It's a system of built-in straps and hooks created to make car seat installation easier. Pull tight so the seat does not move more than an inch, side to side, or front to back. If you are using the car seat's belt, thread it through the car seat's rear-facing belt path and buckle the seat belt. Check your car's owner's manual to determine how to lock the seat belt to hold a car seat in. Many vehicles have belts that lock by pulling the shoulder belt out all the way until you hear a clicking sound. Pull tight so the seat does not move more than one inch side to side or front to back. Your child should ride in a rear-facing seat until they reach the seat's weight and height limit. There should be at least one inch of car seat shell above their head. The harness should be at or below the top of the shoulder for a rear-facing seat. The harness should be secure on your child so that you can't pinch any extra strap at the shoulder. Chest clip should be at armpit level on your child. It's okay if your child's legs touch the back of the vehicle seat while rear-facing. Avoid bulky coats or clothing in the car seat. Try using well-fitted layers, a hat, or blanket on top of the harness instead. Avoid products that did not come with your car seat as they may be unsafe. Always review your car seat manual before using your seat or if you have questions. You can learn more at cincinnatichildrens.org ccic.